So what's up everybody, I'm hyped to give you this new video, it's Charles Barkley, 92 Dream Team Edition, it's the only edition that we have because Charles Barkley doesn't like having his likeness in the game, so shout out to Jay-Z for putting him in 2K13, that's how the face came out. So Charles Barkley was the second, or he was the second best player on the Dream Team, behind Michael Jordan of course, and he was the leading scorer, started at power forward over Carl Malone, so I don't know what that means, but take that as you will. I'm not saying he's, I don't even think he's better than Carl Malone in his total body of work, but I think, you know, he definitely deserved the starting spot at the time, clearly, if he's the leading scorer. So, Dream Team was really his coming out party. He was six foot six. There's no error with that. So, it was really his coming out party. You know, his personality and style of play really shined during this time and he actually went on to win MVP the season after and lost to Michael Jordan in the finals but you see he has a 90 overall rating he has a 95 in 2K13 so watch as I switch the height watch watch what's gonna happen when I switch the height to 6 to 10 and then show his attributes it says he's at a 93 so he has a 95 in 2K13 so I can't do anything about that I clearly want his ratings to be higher so that they're as close to 2K13 as possible but I can't do anything about that I, I did put in all the ratings from 2K13 so that's just how that goes with that sorry if that causes any troubles with some of you guys but there's his ratings here's his tendencies straight from 2k13 I made sure trust me <laughs> so the only reason I didn't do Charles Barkley earlier is because I kind of wanted a bit of an audience before I put out a Charles Barkley video because everybody wants to put out Charles Barkley that he's just a player that's in high demand so his free throw there's no 2k13 animate well there's no 2k15 animation that corresponds to 2k13 so that's just I just did my <laughs> go-to free throw, which is free throw 11, put that on him. So anyway, I just wanted to have a little bit of an audience before I put out this Charles Barkley video, because otherwise nobody would really care, because <laughs> everybody wants to put out a Charles Barkley video. But here you can see him in the roster, 28 badges. So make sure you get these in here. That's actually a lot. So 12 personality badges, because... He brought a lot of charisma and character to the league, so, and he picked up a couple of techs and <laughs> he picked up a couple of techs in his career too. So, definitely one of those guys. So, as I start the gameplay here, you're gonna see me jump twice for this rebound, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get a touch from Eric Bledsoe in the post and finish over Demo. So, really, the way you want to play, you don't really want to shoot threes. If he's open, then hit the one, two. Three on him but that's not really what you want to be doing you want to be working inside the three-point arc <laughs> hit Debo with that pump fake there that's that's really what where you want to be a threat at the mid-range area so mid-range you want to take jump shots turnarounds inside you want to use that drop step as you see Trevor Ariza sagging off here so I'm going to take that all day his mid-range is like an 85 so I don't know why they're sagging off of me this game. Terrence Jones is going to make the exact same mistake, and I'm going to get a perfect release here. So, really, he's a untraditional, or not? He's not a traditional post guy. So he's not one of those dudes to you know have all those counter moves and post hooks. But you're going to see me get another three. So, uh, hey, if they leave you open, why not? Why not pull a three on them, right? <laughs> so I'm going to take a spit move on here and dunk on Josh Smith. I don't know what it is about Josh Smith. I don't know if he just enjoys being dunked on in 2K15, but I, you remember I got a nice one on him with Tracy McGrady too. But I'm going to bring the ball up, try to, try to juke him a little bit with these ball handling moves, but I'm just going to go to my bread and butter in the post, drop step move, and finish. So this game is starting to wind down here. This game is close, so I'm going to see Eric Bledsoe wide open for three. I'm going to hit him, clutch Eric Bledsoe. That's a big bucket. So right here, this game is winding down again. And whoa, it's been a while since you've heard that music. You know what that means. That's a lob on him. 
That's an easy lob. It's been too long since I've had a lob. So, anyway, that about wraps it up. James Harden is going to try to cheese here, try to bring his team back. But you already know I'm not going to have it. They're going to try to foul. I know this. So I'm going to cheese right back. I'm going to catch this long pass and finish with the reverse flush. Looking all fancy at the very end. You already know I had to show off. So this game is over. Desperation heave ain't going to go. So we beat James Harden, MVP candidate, by seven. I dropped 25 and had seven rebounds, zero turnovers at that. So that's really it. If you want me to put, if you want me to show you guys the rest of the Dream Team players' ratings and stuff, like how the ratings change from how they are in the roster, let me know. I could do that. So just let me know. And you know I have more content on the way, so be on the lookout for that. And peace.